Welcome back to my video series where I take you through all of the steps necessary to build a quadcopter racing drone, freestyle drone, you know the drill by now. In this one, we are nearly done. There's just one more thing left to do in Betaflight and that is set up telemetry with soft serial and smart port. And good news, some of you guys are gonna be able to just skip this step because you're not using that stuff. Let's get to it. Well, for nearly the last time, I need to tell you that if you just dropped in on this video for some reason, like you searched for how to set up SmartPort, uh, then this is part of a playlist. There's a full set of video link down in the video description for the whole build series. If you ever built a quad copter before, I think there's a lot to learn here by going through these, and I hope you check it out. But we're going to set up telemetry with soft serial and SmartPort. And I have a confession to make. I actually originally put this at the end of the last video where we just finished up all the beta flight stuff because I expected this to be quick and simple and it wasn't. You see, when you set up telemetry with soft serial, you need to pick one of the pins or pads on the flight controller and remap it from its original function to soft serial. And then that lets you do the telemetry. And you can't always choose every single pin that you might want to choose. And when we previously, way back in video number one, we soldered the smart port wire to the TX5 pad, I believe it was, UART5 TX. Usually I would have expected that to work. As you're going to see in a minute, it didn't work. Let's watch Joshua be super frustrated. Uh, and then uh, we'll come back and I'll show you the actual solution. But we need to do is we need to find serial TX5. We used TX5, I believe. What I'm gonna type is resource serial TX11 C12. Resource serial TX5 none. Okay, and save. And that is gonna assign a function called soft serial to that pin instead of what was there. And the advantage of soft serial is that soft serial can speak the inverted protocol, whereas the standard UART can't. Next thing I need to do is go in the configuration tab and I need to enable soft serial. Oh, it's already enabled. Isn't that nice? I need to make sure soft serial is enabled and hit save and reboot. And then in the ports tab, I should now see soft serial one here. And I'm going to go to telemetry output and choose smart port telemetry and save and reboot. And that will let us get telemetry into the flight controller. Well, almost, there's one more thing. Here in the radio, I'm gonna long press the model key and I'm gonna page to the telemetry screen. And I'm gonna go down and with the flight controller plugged in uh, and the receiver powered up, I'm going to discover new sensors. Why is C12 free, you son of a... Why, wh why? Blah. Well, I hope you found that entertaining. Uh, it was gonna go at the end of the last video, but then when it didn't work, I got super, super frustrated and I've broken it out here. I just wanted to get that video out to you. It turns out I tried, I tried everything I could think of to try that I thought should have worked and none of it worked. And then I did a freaking Google search and it turns out that if you use the motor five or signal five s5 pad then it just works as it should so that's what i did and now i'm going to show you the steps that you need to do to get that working the first thing we need to do is type resource and look at for motor five and see that it is on pin number a15 then we're going to type resource serial underscore tx11 that's soft serial and we're going to put that on a15 uh, and then we're going to type save and hit enter uh, real quick here, you're going to see me check just by typing resource just to make sure that that was done correctly. And then we're going to type save and hit enter and that will put soft serial on pin A15, motor 5. You're also going to need to move that smart port wire off of the TX5. Uh, I've already desoldered it from the underside of the board and I'm soldering it here to the S5 pad. Uh, I'm using way too big of a soldering iron tip. Please don't fill up the comments saying that. I got it done. Shut up. <laughs> We're going to take the smart port wire 
and uh, we're going to solder it to that S5 pad. And I apologize for steering you wrong in the beginning. I really thought TX5 was going to work. It was the perfect pad to use. It just didn't work. It was so much easier to solder to than this little S5 pad, but there you go. The good news is that, you know, you don't like absolutely need telemetry. You could skip this part if you want to. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Go ahead, Josh. There we go. He's going to do it. And boom, just like that, baby. Soldered up. And then the last thing you're going to do is in your radio, you are going to long press the model key to get to model setup. And then you, if you long press the page key, it moves backwards to the last screen instead of forwards to the first screen. Joshua is explaining all that now. So if we long press the page key, we'll go backwards from model setup back to telemetry instead of having to press page, 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 page a zillion times. Then we're going to go and discover new sensors. And what we want to see is, yes, a whole bunch of new sensors come in, not just RSSI and those sensors that come from the receiver, but um, accelerometer, VFAS, temperature, uh, V-speed, all these sensors that are coming from the flight controller. Yes, telemetry is working and we can do all kinds of cool stuff. Link in the video. <sighs> So now you've got telemetry and I want to show you another video that I made that goes through how to view that telemetry information on your Jumper T16. Um, if you have a Jumper T16 or a Horus X10, these radios have a great big colorful screen with the ability to display what are called widgets, where you just take telemetry information and you just sort of put it on screen anywhere you might want to see it. And that is super, super cool. Um, if you don't have one of those radios, there's still use, there are still uses for the telemetry information. For example, you can set up audio alerts. In other words, you can literally have the radio say low battery when the battery voltage goes below a certain level. I'm going to put links to those tutorials down in the video description. And normally I would just, I would make the tutorial for you in this playlist because I want all the information in the same place, like I said at the beginning, but we're so close to the end and I just want to get it done for you. So we're going to just link those videos down in the video description. That's going to do it for this one. Now you've got telemetry. Yay. Good for you. And we're going to, the last thing we've got to do is just button this quadcopter up, finish assembling it and give it a little test and then take it out and fly it. Are you excited? I'm excited. Let's get out of here. Thank you.